Good morning, guys. We're gonna do another What I Eat in a Day video, and we're starting off the day with the strawberry shake. I get asked every single day, how do I make these shakes so thick that the straw test is passable? I'm gonna show you once again. Here we go, let's make the strawberry shake. So this is the key thing to have. This is my Nutribullet. Oh, I think it's got a scratch on it now. Great, okay. <laughs> Nutribullet, medium-sized cup, and I fill it with about a cup, cup and a half of water, and I add ice. Today, I'm not gonna add so much ice to start with. For some reason, when I make these strawberry shakes, it turns out best when I start off with um, a little bit of ice. Normally, I fill the cup up with ice to the, um, you can see here, there's a max fill line. That's normally where the ice goes, but for some reason, the strawberry shake seems to get watered down very easily. So I'm not going to add a ton of ice to start. We're going to see where we're at So uh, with this little bit of ice. So I'm going to pour the fueling in. Put the lid on. We're going to put it on top. Shake it up just a little bit. Put it on top, and we'll be right back. All right, so it's blended, and as you can see, actually, that may have done the trick. Might be enough. Let's see. I'm going to zoom in. Actually, go like that. Okay, so sometimes when you open this up, you'll notice at the top, you're going to have... There it goes. Just tap it off. You're gonna have some of the fueling stuck in that lid. Look at that, guys. Now watch. Here comes my straw test. Boom. Okay, simple, easy, but you definitely need a Nutribullet. I would not recommend shaking this in the little shaker cup that you get. Um, I never use mine. I think it's a waste. <laughs> I like my shakes this way. So feeling number one, about to go down. I'll see what feeling number two. Hey guys, okay, we're back for feeling number two, and today I'm going to make the chili. This is the hearty red bean and vegetable chili. So many of you want to know how to cook it, so I'm going to cook it, and I'm going to do it just like the package says, but I'm going to do it just a little bit longer in the microwave. I don't soak it, I don't do anything special to it, and it does come out nice and soft, so I'm going to show you how I do it. Let's get going. This is just a bowl that I uh, have. I don't even really know how big it is, but you can see the size of it. I find that if you use an extra deep type of bowl, uh, you're gonna do the best with making the chili. How come I'm talking like a robot? I can't get out what I'm trying to say. All right, so the package calls for two thirds cup of water. Now you could do that. I like to use a cup of water because I cook it a little bit longer and I don't mind that it comes out slightly soupy. That's kind of how I enjoy it. So I have a quarter cup measuring cup and I'm gonna put four of these in here to make one cup of water. Okay, so that's one cup of water. To that, I'm gonna add the chili to the bowl. You can see what it looks like inside. It literally looks like taco seasoning and it's got some red beans in there and the whole nine yards. So I just take a regular spoon and I mix it up. I mean, doing this the way the package says will yield the best results. So that's what I do. I, the only thing I do to this is add just a little bit of extra water because we're cooking it longer. All right, so it's all mixed together. And it says on the package here that we have to microwave two and a half minutes, let it stand for a minute, and then cook it an additional minute. So technically that's three minutes. I cook this for five minutes and I'm going to show you a trick so that it doesn't explode outside of this bowl. So let's head over to the microwave. Into the microwave oven goes the bowl of chili. Now normally people get scared that their uh, 
stuff is going to overflow. So the trick to doing that is to take a mug or a cup, fill it halfway with water, put it on the same spinning tray and your chili will not bubble over. So I'm going to set the timer for five minutes after that thing bounces around. Five minutes. See you in a couple. All right, five minutes is gone. Let's open the microwave and check it out. See this? This prevented spillage. Can you even believe it, guys? Seriously. All right, let me pull this out. I'm going to need to get um, the, what do you call it? It's for my hands. The bowl is just way too hot. We'll be right back. So I used my little mittens <laughs> that I use when I take stuff out of the stove. Um, and here it is. Now, it's very soupy looking, right? Okay. So what I like to do now is cover that with a little plate something like this, right? Just cover the bowl. And I just let this sit here for like a minute or two. So we'll be back at that time and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, a couple minutes went by. Let's take this off. And there we go. It is exactly how I like it. It's very soupy. And if you don't like it this soupy, then you can certainly add less water than I did. But I like it this way. I don't know, it tastes like soup. So I'm going to take a bite for you and show you how everything is nice and soft. That's all you have to do. So let's turn the camera around. Look at the shadow on my face from my blinds. <laughs> if I go right here, it's like, whoop. Okay. Keep in mind, guys, too, though, that the microwave, everybody's microwave is a different wattage or whatnot. So even though five minutes for me was good to cook this down to a nice soft um, consistency as far as the beans go, uh, just, you may have to adjust it, but that's literally all I do. So let's take a bite. Everything's nice and soft. Everything's nice and soft. See the bean? Nice and soft. So this will be fueling number two. Chili. I'm adding nothing to it. You could add a condiment, right? A little bit of fat-free yogurt sour cream, laughing cow. I'm saving my condiments for dinner time and I'm gonna have it just like this. So see you back at the next fueling. So uh, it's time to eat again. So we are gonna have the cinnamon crunchers and um, I know that they're out right now, but um, don't get them. Save them all for me. <laughs> it's one of my favorite fuelings and there's none left. This was just uh, a fluke that I was able to get these during the last order. So anyway, drinking my water as per usual, have been doing really well this week with the water intake. I'm very proud of myself. Um, and I'm actually learning to love it once again. So um, cinnamon sugar sticks, glass of water. I'll see you at hopefully the Lean and Green next time. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right guys, so I took a little detour and went to Trader Joe's, got a couple things that I was going to use for dinner, and then, of course, wound up just buying stuff. So <laughs> I'm going to show you what I got. Let's get started. First thing I got is this. Haven't had this in quite a while, the Trader Joe's fat-free crumbled feta. I miss this. I like this when I um, make the rice cauliflower, and I use a little bit of that. It gives a little bit of uh, saltiness to it. I enjoy it, and so I got it. <laughs> uh, here's the ground beef I get, the 96% lean. Two packages of the 99% lean ground turkey. And I bought this that I've never gotten from here before. It's mahi-mahi fillets. Um, looks pretty good, and I'm excited to try it. It says wild caught, so mahi-mahi. Then I got a bag of the mini um, avocados. Two packages of these. These are the Persian cucumbers. I love these guys because sometimes when you're craving a snack and you want the pickle spears, they have a lot of sodium in them. These do not have any sodium. And as we all know, a pickle is a cucumber. So if you technically look at one of these small cucumbers, that could be an optional snack. So sometimes I like to have those and I like to dip it in something, whether it be a little bit of dressing, a laughing cow, something. And sometimes I just eat it with a little bit of nothing. 
Persian cucumbers. Got another bag of my favorite shrimp. This is the red Argentinian. I got two bags of shredded green cabbage so we can make um, crackslaw. Got two package, uh, two zucchini squash in a package that can be zoodles for one night. I got a bag of organic radishes because you guys know when you put these in the air fryer, they literally taste like potatoes. A uh, bag of frozen peppers. Four bags of the cauliflower rice. This is the one that I love the most. And last but not least, a can of olive oil spray. So what do you think? Got good stuff, right? All right, I'm gonna go put this stuff away and then I'm gonna make my lean and green and show you what I'm having. And here's the final masterpiece. So we have three servings of cauliflower rice. We have the 96% la lound. We have, oh my God, Lori. We have three servings of cauliflower rice. We have, um, my lean tonight is the 96% ground beef from Trader Joe's that I showed you before. Tablespoon of fat-free feta and just a little bit of sugar-free ketchup in a bowl with a spoon. I love to mix it. That's how I like to eat it. Nice and simple. And I wanna show you my uh, dry erase board. All right, so, so far here's where we're at. At 8 a.m. this morning, I had coffee with creamer and I circled creamer because that's a condiment. 10 a.m. had a shake with some uh, water. 12.30, have my chili. Two o'clock, I had a bar with water. Four o'clock, I had the potatoes. Uh, I forgot to show you. And just so you know too, this sir, anything circled is either a fat or a condiment. And that's where we're at right now. So as you can see, we have one condiment, two condiment, three condiment. So none left for the day. I've had one water, two waters. I did have a water here and I'm gonna have a water here. So I'm definitely gonna meet my goal. And I have one fueling left at eight o'clock, so we'll see you at eight. Well, we are at the end of the day. Thank gosh, today was really long. <laughs> today was a long day. Looking forward to the weekend. Remember that song years ago, back in the eighties by Loverboy? It was like, everybody's working for the weekend. Yep, that's me. I work for the weekend <laughs> and I'm having a chocolate shake with PB2 in it. And yes, I had my nails done tonight. Uh, when I think it may have been in that last clip too, when I went to the store, because it was right before that, uh, went with like a Robin egg blue. I think it's kind of pretty, something different. And they cut my nails down because my nails grow so fast, especially while I'm playing. It's all the vitamins and minerals guys. So I did a chocolate shake with a tablespoon of PB2 for my optional snack, which is half an optional snack. I still technically have a fat to use because the ground beef I used was not in the lean category. It was the leaner. And I did use a little bit of olive oil cooking spray to cook it. So, um, I mean, I guess you can kind of count that as a fat because I kind of really did the pan up this time. So... I'm not gonna have an extra, an act, a bit there. What's wrong with me today? I can't talk. <laughs> I'm like, do you notice I'm stumbling on my words today? I don't know what's going on. My mind is just way too far ahead of my mouth, as usual. All right, so um, yeah, so that wraps up the day. I'm gonna keep it as this. I'm not gonna, if I'm hungry later, later, I may have a sugar-free Jello since I'm only having half of the optional snack. 10 calorie jello won't make a big deal or I can have one of those Persian cucumbers. They're always great to have on hand. So I hope you had a great day and enjoyed this video and remember as always to stay focused and as always remember we can do this. Yes we can as long as we do it together. I hope you all have a great night and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.